so what we've done is, uh, or what I've used is we've used, uh, shows how I've used dark flesh, uh, nice beigey colour, and I've painted obviously the uh, shabrack, a little bit of, uh, I think it's supposed to be the tail of the dead animal, painted the gloves, and the plume, uh, fetlocks on the horse, of course, and the nasal band. And then inside, obviously, is the, uh, the animal skin. Again here, and a little bit of the glow. Now, most of these will be for white, um, for white paint on top. The shabrack will have some white around the edges, which I might uh, film doing that. And then I like to do a stainer on that before I put uh, the, uh, the markings on, the spots on. Um, the fat ox and the nasal band on the horse will have, uh, will have white paint applied. So, next thing, once that's dry enough, not quite dry, will be to get stuck in with uh, the white paint. So, okay, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, so what we've done now is I've just done the, the red trim on the shabrack. Um, that's got uh, that's three colour on that now. These are uh, the frills or blood charts, teeth or whatever you want to call them. We've got again dark red, the vermilion red, and then we've got an orange. Now that to me does really stick out well. Very nice. I've had to uh, fake it here at the front where there was nothing, but I've just put some semicircles. There's a bit of red hanging down here, which I think leads to what is part of the tail on the animal skin uh, but all the way around we got that so I'm going to do a bit of a, a bit of white painting just to show you what I do now that's just a basic um, white 951 Bellagio white um, so what I'm going to do on the skin if it shows enough here yeah, I just sort of Feathering, yes, yeah, probably the right word. Feathering on the edges. This represents the uh, unmarked part of the animal skin, uh, which is often white or a very pale colour. Just irregular strokes. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. Looks horrible at the moment because obviously there's no shading on it. Um, I had a flesh wash, I was just going to turn the horse upside down and do a bit more so I don't get it on the gold. And a bit more strokes, yep, yeah, there we go. Um, we have some strokes here on this part of the horse. This is over the uh, portmanteau or over the... See, I've got to be on the gold, not to worry. Come on, you evil white. No. It won't come off. So we'll touch that up a bit. With a bit of gold I'll have to go around like you know and uh, like most of us and find the bits we've missed and touch those up. So there we're going. So, a bit of white here. Just feather this in as thin as I can. Because this is supposed to be layered, I don't really want to be putting the flesh colour back on. I've got to put the black um, saddle strap there, sorry to you, the strap to hold the animal skin on. But I'll do that once I've stained it. Right, so that's that side, that's virtually what we've got, the white. Uh, turn around here, and I'm going to put a bit of white on this. I don't know exactly where the white's supposed to go here. But I'm assuming this is the animal sort of tail area or whatever it is. Uh, flattened out. And we got some here. Got some white there. And I think that's about it. Um, then we come to the head of the animal. Oh, was the most difficult, especially this one. So I usually put a little bit on top of the eyebrows what we would call eyebrows. You can hardly see it because the police sleeve is hanging over. And perhaps a bit uh, a bit on the face just below the nose, a couple of strokes. 
Perhaps a bit of white on the ears. Just there. And a couple of bits of bump on the forehead. I mean, any of this can be masked with um, the spots if you're not happy with. But that's how I do it. That's probably a bit too much white there, not to worry. So that's what we've ended up with. He's getting there now on that, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just get a bit on the nose of the horse. Cover up the flesh. Fleshy colour with some dabs of white. Just a regular pattern. Slightly covering it. Don't have to cover it all. So that's what we get on the nose. Um, I'm going to do the same for the fetlock. On the front. Just up to the edge. Not all of it, but uh, enough. If you're not happy with it, you can always put some more on, as they say. And the next one. Splodge, splodge. And there we go. And then the rear leg I'm doing now. Of the hoos. There he is there. And Bit more on this side. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that. So that's him done. So I've now got the the gloves to do. Now we've got a really thin piece in here. If I can manage this. Whoa! Well, yeah, I did it. And filming at a weird angle. So that's the back of the basket hill. I'm calling this a basket hill because it really looks like one to me. I think it is. And we've got the thumb right around the top. And the fingers one, two, three, four. Hey, he's got four fingers. So that's the hand that's showing you. That's the sword hilt hand. And we've got the hand on the reins. Now we've got the thumb here. I've got the reins yet to do, so I may have to touch this up again if I make a mess. But, you know, perils of painting, as they say. And the side of the hand onto the reins. And let's flip this round to the fingers. Um, oh, no, let's not flip this round. we do it this way. Well, I've got four fingers on this. <sighs> yep, yeah, and there's the uh, the gloved hand on the uh, reins. So that's white everywhere that I needed the white to be. Gloves, fetlocks, nose. I've just got the plume to do now. So a feather in, I don't know if it'll work, but we can try it. Should be able to. I go between grey and sort of pale cream for white sometimes. You think, yeah, no, it's a grey day today. So today's a, a flesh day. Remember, so this is the gold that's holding this all on. I try not to put a stainer on the white because it just never looks right to me. It looks too heavy handed, even thinned down. It'll have a matte varnish on it, which will uh, make it look okay and protect it, hopefully. See, that's not coming up white enough for me, for the man. I think I'm going to need another, another coat of white. So perhaps I might stain and varnish it and then, then go over again and pick it out. We'll see. I'll probably do that off camera and lie to you about what I decided. There's the plume done. It may look white, but it's a bit too creamy, I think. May look white on the vid, but not just enough showing through. Almost want to dry brush here. But that won't look right. I 
Right, there we be. That's enough for now. That's all those bits and pieces done. So it's basically now, I think, um, stainer, which will be, where are we? Flesh wash over the animal skin and any parts of the red that it hasn't had. Oh, and I need to do a, a green, green one on the police. So I'll do this, I'll stop the camera, get those sorted out, because they're a bit tricky to try and do. Uh, I think, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back to you while they're drying, okay? <laughs>